are talking about uh, fusion application we have uh, we have the concept called global hr in global hr we are going to talk about the user interface functional setup manager what is geographies what is enterprise structure configurator what are reference data sets what is uh, enterprise xm information in every position synchronization what is legal entity legal address and grades grade rates and uh, employee uh, dating ESS and MSS that is employee self service manager self service. Then we talk about absence management. So whatever it is written in bold now that is important. That actually the gold uh, the second module. Second first module was global HR. Second is is absence management. Then we have work shift work pattern, accrual plans, absence plans, accrual plan participation, eligibility profiles, drive factors. Absence plans and payroll qualifications plans, rate definitions, absence management setup framework, compensatory plan, donation plan, and absence certification. And in payroll, third model is payroll. What we are going to cover in payroll, we have the pay frequencies, payroll definitions, stand definitions. And in payroll elements, we have element overview, input value values, variable rules, payroll reductions, and element entries, balances, balance definitions, fast formulas, calculate payroll, what is the Event groups, what is payment methods, personal payment methods, third party payment methods, payroll costing, payroll calculations, all these things we're going to discuss. In okay. composition, we have individual composition, workforce composition. So in composition is a different module. Okay. The individual okay. workforce composition. Then we if I go fast, just let if you don't understand anything, because if we are we have just started off the training, so you would not be able to understand many things. So once we go ahead, we'll, uh, we'll, you will be able to catch up later, many things. Okay. 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 Then we have goal and performance management. We have uh, um, uh, goal and performance management. We have fusion talent management, content library, content types, rating models, profile types, instant qualifiers, talent profiles, and review period, goal library, talent management, goal management, goal plans, goal plan sets, and... Uh, approving goals, questionnaires, questionnaire templates, creating questionnaires, performance management, performance templates, eligibility profiles, performance documents, work evaluations. Then we have time and labor. It's a different module. Uh, what is the time labor? It is managing elements and creating customer time life, time life attribute, value sets, depending time periods, layout sets, time rules and rule sets. So all these things are so this is the introduction actually. So I'll I will not uh, uh, just give the introduction today, and this is the module that we are going to cover, and uh, this is the agenda. This is the introduction, and uh, today is only one uh, part of the training is discussed. So like uh, today is what what is the discussion all about? It is like a SaaS and PaaS application, inbound integration. What is outbound integration? What is REST web services? So what is thing that are the thing? What are the things that we are going to discuss today? Okay. Um, and skills required to learn cloud ERP. What are the skills required to learn? So uh, all the things we are going to discuss and uh, one by one, and uh, we are going to uh, talk about architecture, then product families, then what are the sub products? What is the middleware? What is the useful uh, link we have, and what is the thing that we are going to and the cloud deployment options. So all okay. these things we are going to discuss one by one. Okay. 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 So when we talk about the all cloud ERP. It's an, uh, uh, so little theoretical will be there. I will not do the practical. No, I didn't understand that. Uh, I will, I will not do the practical part because at certain two, for two days, the theory will be there. That is what is its architecture. What is the, what is the uh, architecture? What is the product families? What is the, uh, 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 what we call, what we call it, the uh, fam product families? What are the things? What are the product families? What are the uh, different architecture? What is the thing? So these are things that what is the difference between e EBS and Fusion? What are the technology changes we find? So all these things we are going to see in Fusion application. 
Haan, when we talk about the skills that is required to learn cloud ERP, so we have Fusion ERP, we have Oracle eBusiness Suite. So when we have Oracle Fusion ERP, we have BI Publisher, SQL, PLS, SQL, and for eBusiness Suite, we have XML Publisher, RDF reports, and all these things are there. And in in Fusion BI ERP, we have OTBI, and eBusiness Suite we have Discover SQL. And interface and conversions, we have FBDI, that is file based data import, and SQL. And uh, we have uh, interfaces and conversions. We have ADF desktop integration, and in this e-business suite, we have Web ADI. In 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 Cloud ERP, we have BI reports, onboard web services, and in as in e-business suite, we have web services, row soap and rest web services. So all these things, there's a difference between that. Then cloud component name. When we talk about forms, then we have the uh, ADF Java service pages in Fusion ERP. In Oracle eBusiness Suite, we have Oracle Forms. In Workflow, we have Oracle BPM AMX. In eBusiness Suite, we have Oracle Workflow AME. Extensions, we have Page Composer. eBusiness Suite, we have Forms Personalization. Component name, we have Geography Teams. And in Cloud ERP, we have ESS Enterprise Schedule Services. And eBusiness Suite, we have Concurrent Programs. So all these things are there. So what is Fusion Application? When we describe a Fusion Application, what is this? The uh, Fusion application is based on open standard platform. Open standard means it has functional part and technical part both. Okay. Okay. It is based on business processes. That means it is based on Oracle eBusiness with PeopleSoft, Jedi, but see, these are the business processes, and it is deployed through option. Deployed through options means it has a public cloud and it has private cloud. Public cloud means it has a uh, it has a public cloud and private cloud. Public cloud means when you have, I will late in the later slides, I will teach you what is public cloud and private cloud. Okay. 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 Uh, friend uh, app application architecture. So, what is this application architecture all about? Uh, friend, friend user interface, application server, and desktop server. Front user interface, we have front end user interface, we have Oracle. We have the uh, front user that is the UI part. User okay. application server we have the back end somewhere between the front end and the back end. So desktop server we have the uh, we have the front end the UI part. Then okay. student fusion product families. Product families are what? Product families are the HR, financials, procurement, inventory. All these are product families. Fusion middleware okay. we have. What we have middleware somewhere between the front end and the back end, and database we have the back end that is PLSQL. Okay. Okay, database so you know now, but is that uh, we have to write the PLSQL oh. queries. So product families, what are product families? Product families are human capital management, enterprise resource planning, supply chain management, enterprise performance management, customer service, industry solutions. So what is human capital management? We have global HR, we have talent management, we have HCM cloud for mid size. Enterprise resource planning, what we have, financials, revenue, pro, uh, uh, project, financials, procurement, and all these things are there. Supply chain management, we have inventory management, manufacturing order management, master data supply chain planning. And enterprise performance, we have different different data modeling and all these financial reporting structures there. Customer experience, we have marketing, sales, and sales service. Industry solutions, we have automatic customer products, retail, education, research, and healthcare. So all these things are product families, which are there in the Oracle product families. We have all these things in the product families. Okay. So when we talk about human capital management, you can see human capital management. One that can be loaded into, into this whole product, Oracle Fusion application sub-products. Okay? Okay. So all these things are talent management, recruiting, onboarding, performance management. All these things are there. Workforce management, time management, absence management. All these things are into the into this. <clears throat> okay. So sub products are workforce rewards, payroll compensation, workforce class. We have my brand management, my wellness, my competition. All these things are there. Okay. <clears throat> Talent management, recruiting, onboarding, performance management, career and succession planning. All these things come from the human capital management. Fusion middleware. Fusion middleware is what? We have fusion middleware, extension for application user interface, additional flex field, huh, database, and the somewhere between the front end and the database. So okay. in, 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 when we talk about the architecture, middleware also comes into play. So middleware is what? It is somewhere between the front end and the back end. So 
so we have application development framework original bi tablet oracle web center portal oracle web center content oracle data integrator oracle nt management oracle http server oracle web logic communication services so all these things comes under the middleware components okay can you uh, uh, <coughs> you can see the sites that are that are given by oracle to go to the sites and get your get yourself help whatever help you can get you can copy this link and you can oh. copy this link and post on the url and then you can see the differences that you have you can see the differences that you can make when you are uh, talking about health and uh, fusion health resources and we're okay. talking about uh, when we talk about the docs.oracle.com okay okay <laughs> then we have product families so we have am human capital financials project recruitment customer relationship management supply chain management these are the product families usual middleware we have application development framework and then we have application web logic server fusion application schema and middleware schema okay what is cloud deployment options when you talk about the cloud deployment options we have three options my software package uh, somewhere which is you can see at the down blue is managed by me and red is managed by the vendor so one what are the things that are written in blue is managed by me when we talk talk about my software package all the things are managed by me that is the my application data run time middleware everything is managed by me when you talk about the infrastructure as a service we talk about my application data run time middleware operating system these things are managed by me and server storage and networking is managed by the vendor okay. so the platform and service my application my data is managed by me and rest of the things are, also, are going to be managed by the by whom by the vendor but, and usually this is the saas saas part is what software as a service my application data run time everything is managed by the vendor nothing okay. is managed by so when we talk about fusion application this is the thing that we have so what is saas okay saas is platform as a service software as a service, software as a service okay usually fusion application it is an interview question also it will ask like everywhere it, it, it is asked where do fusion app, uh, uh, fusion hcm play plays a role so it is played a role uh, like what is the cloud deployment option so you will say it is the fusion application uses software as a service that is saas as a service okay not platform as a service okay 